Hello everybody, and today we're going to be talking about how to get tons of farming XP, all the way from level 0 to 60. I don't have tons of experience with farming, but I think I have enough to know like what the best ways to get XP are, because I have farming 43, so not great, but not nothing. So a few things to note before we get started is first, you're definitely going to want a rabbit pet, because it gives like 30 farming wisdom when it's maxed out, and farming wisdom essentially just gives you more farming XP. And for farming, if you really just want money, you can get an elephant pet. Currently my co-op has my elephant pet, so I can't show you it, but it gives like tons of farming fortune so it's not very good for xp but it gives you tons of money and you should definitely get a god pot and a booster cookie because they boost your xp by a lot so the first farm i recommend doing is pumpkin and then you can like farm pumpkin until you get rancher boots what they do is they allow you to set a speed cap and they give you tons of speed so you can farm every other farm at the correct speed and by the way it doesn't matter what speed you're at for pumpkins too much so it's fine without the rancher boots if you're just doing pumpkin the next thing i recommend is definitely sugarcane because it gives a good amount of XP and money, and it's just pretty easy to farm, and if you do it with this method, if you guys really want me to, I can explain it in a different video how this works, but you can essentially just hold down two buttons, and you never have to, like, really do anything, and it's just so lazy. So the next farm I recommend is definitely either carrot or potato. They both give pretty decent XP. I think carrot might be slightly better for XP, but I'm not entirely sure. And if you get carrots, you can upgrade your pets very easily because they give you tons of carrots for carrot candies. And potatoes are good because you can make hot potato books with them. So if you're on Iron Man, I recommend doing potatoes first for hot potato books. But if you're just on normal profile, I recommend doing carrot first because the carrot candies sell for so much. And obviously, since it gives tons of XP. I'm not going to be talking about nether warp because that doesn't actually give farming XP. It gives alchemy XP. But just as a side note, it's insanely good for money. So if you want money, definitely check that out. If you want to, you can also have a melon farm. I don't have a melon farm currently. But I'm thinking about making one because it does give pretty good XP. And it gives a decent amount of money. Next you can do is probably like wheat or cocoa bean. Cocoa bean's pretty annoying because it's like an axe, not a hoe. So you can't like gives it give it tons of buffs and stuff but wheat is insanely hard to max out the hoe because it costs like 130 million coins worth of materials to max it out so you can just do whichever you want i'm currently working on both and a side note the cocoa bean farm is so long and tedious to build because you just have to plant so many cocoa beans sorry about the gold medals i haven't been going for them a lot but the farms i didn't have are cactus mushroom and obviously i didn't have a melon farm the reasons i don't have a cactus and mushroom farm are kind of obvious but they are just so so annoying and they're like so annoying to build so annoying to farm don't do it if you really don't want to because you don't really need to I mean, obviously, if you want to get farming 60, you have to for the for the farming cap, but until you get there, just don't, don't force yourself to do that. And I forgot to say earlier, if you don't want to buy a god pot, you can just get farming XP boost potions instead, because they just do the same thing. But if you have a god pot, you get more speed, so... and eh, you can do whatever. If you're too lazy to manually farm, you can just get melon minions which are insanely good for farming XP. And then obviously give them super compactors, diamond spreading, and whatever fuel you want. So now we're gonna talk about how to max out the hoes and the axes. For a hoe, you obviously want turbo cane, turbo potato, turbo carrot, whatever it is, turbo tier five. Obviously tier three hoe, you can re it. And then you also need cultivating. And for that, you need to get a hundred million to max it out. But for cultivating 9, you'll need like 20 mil, so I recommend just doing that. That's what I have on most of my hoes. I am not a complete psychopath with no life who just sits in his room farming sugarcane all day. I only have 35 million collection. And then obviously for the hoe, you want farming for dummies. Harvesting f 6, I think, is the max. And if you're farming either like wheat or potato, carrot, any of those crops where you like break the entire thing like that and then there's just farmland underneath it you need the enchant replenishing so that it automatically like puts it back after you break it and the last thing you need to do to max out a hoe is put the blessed reforge on it or at least i think that's the last thing i was in fact wrong that is not the last thing you need you also need farming for dummies it's pretty easy to get you can just like get it off ah and the way you do that is you gotta come over to the smithmonger 
and buy a blessed fruit. It's 1 million coins. That might seem like a lot, but it's not that much because of how much it boosts your thing. When it's maxed out, it gives a plus like 20 farming fortune, I think, and like 6 farming XP, or 6% farming XP. And to apply it, you can just come over here to reforge anvil. And then just put your hoe here, the blessed fruit here, and then combine it. Now, axes are different because they don't have, like, tiers and stuff. All you need to do to max them out is put blessed on it, obviously, re it, and I think just put the turbo book on it. And that might be it, actually, because axes you can't do much with. You can't, like, level them up with tiers or anything like that. And, by the way, obviously you want, like, efficiency 5 and all that stuff. Just the basic enchants. So that's gonna be all for the farming XP guide. Let me know if you guys want to see other guides like mining, foraging, all the other guides, fishing, you know. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something from it. Bye.